Well, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? JP, JP's Tech. Yeah, still me. Okay, I'm going to do something a little bit different, but it's still going to be focused on DCS world. There's a thousand different reviews out on this video card regarding frame rate, temperatures, and things like that, but not too many on DCS, so I'm going to pretty much dedicate all the resources on this to seeing what this can do in DCS with one monitor and a three monitor setup. See what the frame rates are in low, medium, high, and ultra. And I don't play too many other games other than like Quake Champions and geez, you can get 400 frames in a, with a 3080 in that game, but so it's not even worth really getting in. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at this today. I'm dying to see it. Yeah, I normally don't do unboxings. They're kind of, some people like to see them, some people don't. Nice boxing. Wow, they really, like, a few years ago, the boxing was a nightmare. <laughs> oh, my God, some of it was bad. Oh, cool. All right, all right, all right. I'll take a free mouse pad. And it's not a little one either. Cut out first. Oh. It's a big boy. All right, so let's put this box over here in a nice safe spot. All right, so this is what we're looking at. Here we go. Yeah, baby. Ouch, what the heck? Very nice. Okay, I did a little bit of reading on it beforehand. So I do know that this is all a kind of a gunmetal, semi-polished. I mean, it's not like shiny, so it's just kind of like a polished aluminum. And wow, the back too. Very nice fans. They have great, I, I, first time I've seen a fan with the rubber cushions on it so nice and clean. And all the cables, cabling in here. See, the, like the EVGA, oh my God, what a mess. It, it, that thing had wires coming out of all the fans and RGB. Yeah, it, 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 the power, it was, it was a nightmare. I, I just, I couldn't, that's why I ended up going over very quickly as soon as it started making noises to the other thing. Well, it looks, so what they did is the power draw to operate the fans and any RGB on here, every, all the wiring is running through the nylon covering on it and they did a nice job nice neat job putting the wiring around here so basically this is it you plug it's it's pretty much plug and play plug and play you know well very nice back look at that people that's all metal all aluminum g-force i think i was reading that lights up and somewhere i think maybe the, the Supreme thing over here lights up. Black fans, so that's awesome. I can dig that. I don't want no RGB on it. Okay. And of course, we're coming with a fire resistant. <laughs> Hope this thing don't burn. <laughs> Chuck fire. When I'm in a game, crash and burn. Uh, first time I ran into a plastic bag that whooped my ass. Yeah, so we have four into one it's 16 12 and then you have your, your rest up here these are the ones i think that send the data back and forth telling the computer what to do with the temperatures and oh, oh yeah yeah that's it Oh, uh, so much excitement for that. All right. I'm sure there's something here. I usually never take them off. I just <laughs> it's the, it ain't hurt no one. Oh, okay, we've got some more RGB right there, too. Just a very little bit. So if you're going to do a, a vertical stand, you're going to put that in there. It would be easy to see. Other than that, you're not going to see it. Cause I'm putting it. I'm just putting it in. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about doing them vertical mounts and all that. Yeah, so that about wraps it up. 4090 MSI GeForce RTX Supreme. Why don't they just put Supreme? It's 
maybe it was a copyright thing, but maybe it was just an MSI thing. Silent fan, and I guess, you know, so silent fan is just like the default power, and the other one is the, yeah, that's for overclock. So it's a, it gives, it's a very little overclock. It, it's nothing that you're gonna really, normally it would come, I'm surprised, on silent. Silent would be default, but it's on OC, that's weird, okay. All right, folks, so I'm gonna get this thrown in. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Okay, I promised that I would do a frame rate test and seriously try my best. I can see it, but it seems to be outside of the borders. I've been trying to figure out why so if you want to just take my word for what it is we're gonna to have to go on that until i can get this figured out so the 4090 water cooled is in the msi edition and with three 27 inch monitors at 1440p 165 refresh rate i was getting between 80 and 123 125 somewhere in that area with this which we're in now is single monitor i'm getting 200 just sitting here so i want to take it up for a flight look at some numbers and um hopefully i can figure out how the hell to get this thing to work right so i'm going to try to keep this shot I'm not even going to take off an afterburners. It's starting to want to go. There we go. Come on. Up you go. Wheels up. Okay. The wheels up. So the frames are out of line. <laughs> I wish they had a voice thing for frame rate. Uh, the frames are at about 180, 175, 195. Wow, it jumps around a lot. Forward one, airborne. 201. Flip it upside down. See, now this is really weird. I'm getting higher frames. 218, 225. Come back this way. So we're staying at around 200 right here. Put the afterburners on. Let's look at the clouds here. It's dropping a bit. 190, 93. All right, so we know with the 4090 water cooled, we can get over 200 frames, no problem. All the settings in the game are set on as high as they can go. Everything in the game is as high as it can go. Or should I say simulator? Let's bring it in for a landing and see if I can crash it. Okay, I'm looking down at the ground. 180. 190. 193. 189, see it jumps all over the place. Okay, so we get the gist of it. It's weird because when I pull it up. Yeah. Ford 1, passing waypoint 2 at 4,500. Let's get the speed down a bit. Oh no, there's that runway way, way back there. I got plenty of room. I think that's the right one. I hope I ain't going down a one way. Looks like bunkers for F-16s. I don't see none over there. Yeah, we're gonna 
so we can get around and yeah this has got to be the one Raffles looks so nice with this card in there Too high. It's a plane coming at me. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, let me get the hell off of this thing. Oh, my. Okay. So we survived. Okay, with the 4090, we can get over 200 frames with single monitor. And we bounce between, say, mid 80s and 125, 130 with three monitors. The monitors again are 27 inch. The refresh rate is 165. Oh, yeah. Let's wrap it up. I gotta get ready for my other job. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like how everything works, so. Play on, very cool. <laughs> now I noticed is the stick in the F-16 is very limited to movement no matter what setting you put it on it's probably like that in real life it's very very touchy with the vertical base is a lot more movement than you see on the uh the video okay so we're gonna wrap it up i hope i can figure out how to get these frame rates squared away and they're not outside of the box in the black do apologize. Peace.